We're behind the scenes at the shoot of Government and Panot Ricard for the next issue of Bought and Sold. So in this video, you're going to see and talk to the team about why we chose this campaign. We're going to talk to the art team to see what's the concept. And we're going to talk to our interviewees to just see how they feel and how they're doing the shoots, how they're faring this year. So take a look and stay tuned. Ray, what's so special about this campaign and why are we using this one? Well, to begin with, it's a very creative campaign. We really liked how they picked up the absolute story of being handmade and, and the story behind the brand is well reflected throughout the campaign. They picked up a key maker out of a dozen over of them that they screened, selecting him for, for the campaign and how he hand makes key. Um, and handmade is something which is very core to, to Absolute Elix as a product. So the synergy there was, was pretty amazing and the way they executed the campaign was interesting as well. So they, they ran this microsite for two weeks which has the story of, of the key maker and finally there's, there's no product, nothing on, on the microsite and that leads to uh, an absolute Elix uh, microsite which is um, which showcases the product and the story behind it. So users can see the synergy there and how they culminated the campaign with an event in a shop house unlike a, a club which, which a typical you know vodka or a liquor brand would choose as a venue that was pretty interesting as well and how they executed the event was also very unique so they got in a customized sort of um, event for selected invite guests and uh, I think overall the whole concept was very unique and interesting. Why is this campaign special to you? Um, this campaign is very special because I think it's a campaign with a lot of heart. Um, for us, um, you know, this this project is very important for us to establish the brand, um, which is virtually unknown in the in the, the super premium market category, and we really wanted. Um, it is a great product. We wanted to make um, uh, people know it and you know taste it and really. You know, understand it's really good quality. So for us, um, it is very special. They are our very first clients, right? And when we first proposed the idea to them, we weren't sure if they would buy it in the very first place. So now that the campaign is over, it's such a great success. Uh, the clients are really, really happy with us. So I feel really proud now looking back at it. Yeah. So Sha, what was uh, the concept of the shoot? What did you guys do this time? Uh, the concept of the shoot is uh, uh, something fresh vibrant, fun, candy. We're trying to capture that through our photo shoot. So hopefully this photo shoot, uh, through the visuals, the, you know, it will just showcase uh, the, the, the project that they just worked on. And hopefully they will remember this photo shoot as well. Edwin, what was different? What do you guys do uh, in terms of lighting, your photography style? So uh, basically, in terms of lighting, uh, this is what we have done, as in, uh, I did a, a, a very simple setup of the light, which is just a one direction light that uh, is reflected on the cannon, and uh, it will cast a shadow, which is uh, to create a more interesting uh, effect to it, and also to make it to, uh, to combine with a Polaroid feel to it, which uh, we will do it in the pose. And also, we will do a bit of effect to it during the DI, which will, we will add a bit of yellow tint of uh, color to it and make a, a really like a fun Polaroid feel. Which the model will have a different expression to it, which uh, we, we make them laugh, mm. ang angry faces. We play with different uh, perspectives, angles, yes. um, moods, um, poses, uh, serious ones, funny ones. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, tight cropping, loose cropping. So, um, yeah. Okay, how was the shoot? You just ended the shoot, didn't you? Oh, the, sh the shoot is really, really tough. <laughs> really, really, really tough. Okay, yeah. what was the hardest part of the shoot? Um, I think trying to get yourself into the different poses. Uh, trying to get yourself into the right frame of mind for this shoot in itself. Because usually we are the ones directing, right? And then now you're on the other side, then you feel like, oh my god, what do you do? The whole mind goes blank and all that stuff. You forget about the mood board and the cashew bits. So, so uh, okay, now I understand how is it like on the other side really. So how do you find the shoot? Um, it's fun, but uh, very challenging. Very difficult to act natural, especially when everyone tells you to be natural, it's so difficult. Okay, so how do you feel like to be on the other side of the camera? Um, uh, it's, it's more difficult, I'm glad I don't do this for a living.